We'll move on and talk about boots. So, so the big the big discussion that you're going to find online and stuff is motocross gear, uh, motocross boots, or adventure boots. So, adventure boots are gonna they're gonna be designed to be comfortable to walk in, um, and they're gonna have uh, more grippy soles that are gonna gonna work better when you're walking around. They're gonna have more flex in them. So, this this is a a uh, motocross boot. It's a low level motocross boot. It's a, it's a mid, not low level. It's a mid level. Yeah. It's a mid level. Um, so, so you've got your, your ones that are like 150 bucks that are your basic, your basic stuff. Then you've got your tier twos that are like 250, 300 bucks, like this one. Um, and it's gonna, it has the hinge at the, at the, uh, the ankle, which I really like. Um, it, it, it keeps your, it, it keeps your ankle from overextending um, because in the back it has it has these these things I don't know what to call them that that will keep you from overextending um, but it allows you to move freely um, and then inside of the boot you're gonna have a steel shank so you cannot bend this sole with your hands um, on an adventure boot you will you will be able to twist it right up like this um, that is a big difference in 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 protection. Um, and, and like you said, you're always balancing comfort and protection. You're always balancing those two things. Um, so I know that you have um, uh, motocross boots. I, I'm pretty sure you have the two levels. You have the, the Tech 7s, right? And I the have, Tech 10s. Yes, right, right. And then you also have adventure boots. Right, exactly. Yeah. So, so you have experience in all of them. So I'd like to hear your thoughts on, on that. Well, I forgot to bring them, sorry. <laughs> but uh, yeah, the Tech 10s, they, they, it's like top line of, from Alpine Star. You have an inner boot as well um, they're really really great um, but it's it's really for motocross riding um, you just mentioned the soles the sole is really like MX boots nowadays they're like basketball shoes now, almost right uh, and it makes sense right because MX riding is on a track um, the track is that wide and if you should crash or if you should fall you cannot ride anymore you take a few steps and you're in normal paper and you can walk, right? Um, for adventure riding, I don't think that's the best best uh, sole that you want to have because a lot of times if you have to get off the bike to push your bike, whatever, you're already lacking traction. Yeah. And then you have to push a, a 200 plus bike and you have this kind of sole, then yeah, that both of you are gonna go down, right? Yeah. Um, My, yeah, mine are, are pretty pretty smooth, I, pretty I, smooth I, soles. The thing was, I was looking at them when I was uh, back in Germany as well, and I think they have really good grip going uphill. Yeah, yeah, but that's how they're designed. Yeah, because it just, you know, it holds yeah. you yeah. down, but down all, it's just like, you know, ice skating then probably, yeah. right? Yeah, so that, that was one reason why I didn't, you know, buy these kind of boots, right? Yeah, well, they're designed to slide forward because if you put your foot out when you're going off-road, you don't want it to catch. Right. Um, right. You want it to slide. People who do flat track and stuff, yeah. it's, it's for that kind of thing. <laughs> and to be honest, I would choose the Enduro sole right. if, if I had that option. Um, yeah, when I bought this, I, I didn't see it or didn't think of it or whatever, right? Um. Well, before it was really, before, for example, with the Alpine Stars family, you had the, also the Tech 8, which was the top-notch Enduro boot. But nowadays, it's actually not that common anymore. I mean, they still produce that, that model, but like, uh, even though, like, a lot of shops, they have Tech 10, 10s, 7s, you know, whatever. Uh, but 8s, for, for some reason, are, you know, not ev every shop has those, which is quite interesting I don't know why yeah. but anyways um yeah uh, the tech 10 is basically proper you know best protection like I mean uh, for for such a top tier to your boot really really good um, but it's heavier uh, the new version a little bit lighter um, you have an inner boot that means you have to take the inner boot out you have to put that on first you know and stuff but it means a little more protection right walking uh, you just you feel like a robot. Yeah. You, know, you take 10 steps and you're looking for somewhere to sit down. Yeah. You know? And um, I mean, even though that they're getting a little bit lighter, it's just, you know, like this. It's like yeah. a ski boot. Yeah. Right. Um, then with my Tech, uh, tech 7s, it's, it's uh, the Tech 7 Dry Star. So it's basically the, the, the uh, off road dirt bike enduro adventure boot, right? It's, it's basically the same thing as a regular uh, Tech 7 enduro. Uh, they also have two versions of, of it, the, the motocross with such kind of sole and then the, the enduro version with a little more thread in it. 
and this one has the the enduro sole on it but it has dry star which is basically the alpine star's equivalent to uh gore-tex okay um in my opinion not as good good decent but not as good as gore-tex um but yeah you can feel it it has a little more movement in it uh, it's a little more comfortable uh, it has four buckles instead of three buckles which i'm lazy i like three buckles right yeah but um yeah anyways uh one thing I like about my Alpine Stars Toucans, which are uh, Alpine Stars uh, adventure boots, is that it has Gore-Tex, and it, it it's really comfortable. Uh, like like you said, the sole is also a bit uh, softer, so you can walk a little more in it, um, which is great for most people. I realized when I ride a long time standing, uh, it, I I can feel the pegs after uh, you know half a day or you know five six hours whatever i start to feel it whereas in my motocross boots or you know, enduro boots the sole is harder right yeah but then again you so, know, so does it have the seal shank or no, no it doesn't yeah it doesn't right so that's why it, it, like you said you know it, it's softer right? yeah so it's, but i i like to wear those through my trainings because i do a lot of walking there, yeah yeah right? i don't want to wear my proper mx boots because it's gonna, gonna just gonna kill me uh, latest was um, the climb, the new climb adventure boots, and they even give you, uh, I think, two extra soles in it. You know, gel sole, whatever. You know, it's a very interesting boot because that boot is hard and soft at the same time, and it's really, really, you know, just uh, I don't know what to say actually. Yeah. The sole is really thick. Yeah. Uh, made by Michelin uh, rubber, whatever. Oh. You know, it's gonna give you extra grip, I guess, right? But it is. It, on one side is really stiff, the sole is really thick, but you, then on the other side is very soft, you know, yeah. so you can move around, and you can walk definitely. If I if I ride somewhere and I plan another, you know, hour of, of hiking, we would like to wear those boots. Okay? Yeah. Those have Gore-Tex, they're waterproof and everything, really, really great. Um, just one buckle, which is convenient, right? Um, but uh, just to be clear, the, the more we do just touring, the more I want to have comfort, you know, uh, obviously yeah. safety, but the more we go like really technical stu uh, sections, riding, whatever, uh, yeah, safety is, is more important, right? Um, but you'll see that uh, a lot of times, you know, um, there is a difference between proper, you know, dirt gear and adventure gear. Right. Yeah. But again, it's always that ratio, comfort versus safety. And one of the things that you mentioned uh, was was the the Gore-Tex, the, the the Dry Star uh, stuff. Uh, the the motocross gear, it's not even a little bit waterproof. Um, as soon as it, when I'm doing river crossings, as soon as a splash of water gets onto my my boot, I feel it immediately. <laughs> and and it's just one of those things when I go into a riverbed, I know I'm going to have wet feet and I know I'm going to have to dry the boots afterwards. I have a, I have a boot dryer. I, 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 I stick a tube down in it and I, and I dry it out and it's become a routine. Um, and, you know, there isn't there isn't one that's better than the other um it just it there's pros and cons um to both because the thing is if you're doing deep water river crossings like the way that i do um you're going to end up getting water in the top and once it goes down in there it's it, you know then it's stuck um because this boot does drain because as quickly as the water comes in the water also leaves as well um and so if you know you're going to just be doing easy stuff um if you know you're going to be on the road you're de dealing with rain uh i hate wet feet when I'm on the road. I, I really, really hate it. Um, because when it's cold and, and ah, it, it's one of those, ah, it's very weird. Like if my hands, if my hands are dry and my head's dry and my feet are dry, I feel pretty dry. <laughs> I don't, yeah, it's weird. It's weird how that is. Um, but when I'm off road, yeah, I just have wet feet. That is, it is what it is. <laughs> I mean, if, if, you, if you're on a long tour and you have wet feet, I mean, really soaked, you know, the water is in the boot, you know, and stuff. I mean, you're standing a lot, right? Yeah. And, you know, it, it, it gets very uncomfortable, right? And, uh, yeah, mentioning rain, you know, like I, I had uh, two years ago, I had a training down in the south and I was wearing my Scott gear. And right before I hit um, the, the, yeah, the midsection of my tour down, it just, you know, it just started raining like crazy. I didn't even have time to pull to the side, you know, within like not even a minute, I was completely soaked, right? 
Um, and like you said, you know, even though I was wearing my my uh, Alpine Source Toucans, right, they're waterproof. The water came in from like the inside, and there's no chance, right? Yeah. So because my gear was just got soaked, the water was inside my my pants, and just 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 went down, and that was it, right? Then afterwards, behind uh, Qisan, uh, right before I hit uh, Pingdong, uh, like before the the sun came out, and when I hit Pingdong, I was dry. Yeah. And my gear it gets it's like that gear got gets wet really fast, but it dries also very fast. So I was dry again. Problem was my feet, your feet were still wet, right? <laughs> and eventually I stopped on the side, you know, and I took off my boots and I just, you know, poured the water exactly, out. Exactly. Right? <laughs> Even you know it was soaked with water, like there was water standing inside of my boots, you know. I just poured it out, and I spent basically half the night in the hotel just trying to dry my boots, you know, and stuff. So and um, yeah, that 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 just sucks. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And it's just, um, I mean, it was just riding on road just to get down for a training. So it was no off road riding, standing, whatever. But yeah, I understand that feeling, you know, like it's this, I mean, wet hands, okay, you know, like with, with uh, off road uh, helmets, you get wet in the rain, definitely like you on the side and on your mouth, whatever, you know, it's also okay. But wet feet,